Blimey, I'm 84 today. 84. <laughs> I'd like to share my birthday thoughts in the style of the great East London master of the monologue, Stanley Holloway. A little bit of trivia. Stanley was born in the same Manor Park district as the one and only Jimmy Greaves 50 years later. Not a lot of people know that. The tune I'm playing in the background is Hearts and Flowers, composed in 1901 by American-based German Theodore Tabani. It accompanied many silent movies when Stanley was starting out on his remarkable 70-year career as an actor and entertainer, including appearances as the ticket collector in Brief Encounter and, by complete contrast, Eliza Doolittle's crafty Coleman Dad in My Fair Lady. The photos floating by feature just some of the celebrities I've been lucky to work with. It's been a lovely life so far. <laughs> Here goes. As I reach the milestone of 84 flipping years, the only thing I've learned from life is that nothing but nothing stays the same. Take football, for instance, the players we watch now. I can hardly pronounce a single blinking name. Whatever happened to the Joneses, the Smiths, the Browns, Morrow and Greavesy? When they produced their magic on the pitch, remembering their names was so bleeding easy. As I reach the milestone of 84 flipping years, what the bloody hell's happened to television? When they can wander around without a stitch on in that program, Naked Attraction. Blimey, even the Rolling Stones had the decency to keep their clobber on when recording I Can't Get No Satisfaction. As I reach the milestone of 84 flipping years, I can remember long ago when a pint of beer set you back all of a shilling. Now you need to take your mortgage out. That's if to buy a drink you're willing. And if you're generous or mad enough to include your mates in a round, blimey, you'll be lucky to get a penny back from 20 bleeding pound. As I reach the milestone of 84 flipping years, how about bleeding politics? That's gone completely balmy. With the world looking on helplessly at Putin's invading army. There's that mad Lizzie completely trussing us up and Boris having parties when he was a Downing Street resident. Oh, Trump and Biden are fighting it out on Zimmer frames to be the next United States president. As I reach the milestone of 84 flipping years, I've become the toy boy of a near 90 year old called Joyce, a remarkable lady in whose company I greatly rejoice. And I'm finishing book number 121 in harness with Steve the Skipper Perryman about the great Bill Nicholson, who was a great Tottenham manager and a very special man. That's it, I guess, as I celebrate grandkids and great grandkids galore. I could not really ask for anything more as I reach the milestone of 80 flipping four. I ask you, 80 flipping four. My next birthday post will be when I'm 85. That, my friends, is if I'm still alive. Be lucky. Hope you have as happy a life as I'm having. As Jim used to say, it's a funny old game.